All right, um, Friday afternoon, doing another bit of a live stream. Starting it a bit early, I did have a timer up there, but um, I'm running out of time. I've just got a phone call, so I've got some people coming over this afternoon. I'm just going to do a real quick one again because I'm short of time. So, system's all set up. Really happy about it. Um, it's awesome. Really, really happy. So, what I really want to talk about today is controlling the ATEM, the ATEM Mini Pro, which is the switching desk, uh, the little switching um, desk, I guess you call it here, um, and utilizing the, I'll switch over to camera three, using the Elgato Stream Deck here to do a lot of the controlling. Okay, so, um, I can control my lower thirds graphics here, so I can pop my name up here. I've got other things programmed in, but I'm also actually using um, the Elgato Stream Deck proprietary software using profiles to switch between certain um, functions with, uh, in the Stream Deck and other bits of software, and also controlling the ATEM Mini Pro, which is really cool. Um, <coughs> so, just gonna run through uh, that with you and show you a little bit about that. So, if I open up Companion, and I'm just gonna show you the Companion software now. So I'll just drag this over so you can see. This is the Companion software, and you can see that I use the lower thirds graphic um, software which is by, from here to record um, John Barker he's made this awesome little piece of software for free uh, to do lower thirds the timer the message the ticker and those kind of things that you see there so I set up a button in companion and this is the OSC commands that um, the companion software uses to talk to the Elgato Stream Deck. So it's it's a little bit complicated, but um, once you get your head around it, it's not too hard to set up. Uh, also, what I've done is I've managed to, if I just pop over back to camera three, set up videos on here. Okay, now this is within the Elgato software, um, and if I press one of these, um, anyone will do, you'll see. So as you can see, it loads the video, plays the video, um, using VLC, so I've actually done a little bit of trickery in here switch that off now fade to black and closes VLC so that's what I got really excited about in that I can actually control the VLC media player the um, companion uh, the ATEM mini pro so what that button is actually doing I'll open up the stream deck for you and bring that over so that was Raven 2 I think any one of them now this is a multi-action uh, through the Elgato Stream Deck software and I've just set up a little icon here and down here it's a toggle switch so a multi-action toggle switch so that it can actually have two states so when I press it once it'll do a certain lot of commands and then when I press it again it'll do a second set of commands or actions they're calling it here so I've got nine actions um, I'm using Bar Raiders um, the Bar Raider software here um, and it's the advanced launcher so basically that's what's launching I chose that file and made VLC my default application I'll just shift this over a little bit made VLC my default application for it to launch okay then it's opening a companion um, button which then is controlling a macro that I've set up to fade the audio so any audio that's playing it'll fade that it then controls the ATEM Mini Pro to dip to black so that you can't see anything that's going on when it's actually launching the VLC media player okay so I'm, I'm 
covering all that up so you're not seeing the interface of the VLC and, and once it does dip back up from black um, it's already full screen. So there's a bit of a delay here um, the launcher again oh sorry that's the process kill the first one sorry I'm, I'm killing off VLC just in case it was playing this is the launcher where I actually pick the file um, another bit of a delay then I've set up a hotkey again this is a little um, bit of software that's in here a little bit of a plug-in so to speak uh, and then I've just set up a, a shortcut key so control F uh, just sorry F uh, which is full screen for the um, VLC media player dips back up from black and then switches to my window here which is the one you're looking at which I call overlay on the A10 Mini Pro so there's quite a lot of actions going on there and then you can see it's a multi-action so when I press it again uh, the audio will fade it'll dip to black oh, somebody wants me a um, bit of a delay it'll close VLC and then um, switches back to my default camera camera 2 on the Atom Mini Pro fades up from black and then increases the audio on this channel here um, not, the ch not the channel that my mic is, but the channel where the audio for VLC is coming through ready for the next one. Um, so you can see that's pretty complicated, but um, these little bits of software and plugins make it so that you can actually use VLC as a media player and not have to buy something like the um, something like a um, Hyperdeck. Um, which can be quite expensive. So I already spent enough money on this setup. Uh, at this stage, Hyperdeck would be great, a Blackmagic Hyperdeck, to play all these video files. Um, but I do like using VLC um, for this instance. Um, it, it's really cool and it's, it's doing the job that I want. So anyway, that's all I've really got time for today. It had to be a really quick one. Um, I will go into this in more depth um, at, at another stage. I've, I've really kind of got to get the hell out of here. Um, really short one for this Friday. So anyway, uh, if you want, you can flick me any questions um, through YouTube um, or you can go to our website. Um, it's the Australian Institute of Advanced Studies and you can email us just the tension mic and the email will get to me if you want. Um, you can, yeah, like I say, put any messages up on YouTube. But I'm always checking them fairly regularly. And if you do have any questions about the setup that I've done, um, yeah, give me a give me a chat. I'll, I'm happy to talk about it. All right, so that's it. Thanks for coming. I'm going to go and end the show. This will give me a little bit of time. It'll bump up the audio, play a bit of a song. I've got a few seconds before it's going to fade out to black and actually run a macro and turn. Them.